Greetings, friends. Today's art activity is inspired by a special holiday that we have this week called Earth Day. Earth Day is April 22nd, and in honor of Earth Day, we are going to be creating art with things that we find in nature. So I went outside and I collected a lot of material from nature. I got all kinds of leaves and plants and some flowers. You could collect mulch or seashells or stones or pebbles, whatever it is that you have around you outside. Now I'm gonna set this to the side. Now when collecting materials outside, you might wanna take a pair of scissors. Some of the sticks might be hard to break, so take a pair of scissors with you if you have them. You might wanna take a pair of gloves, maybe some sunscreen, some bug spray. Maybe you wanna take a hat and some glasses if it's hot and sunny outside. Maybe you wanna make sure that you're covered up so you don't get a sunburn. Now, as you are working and collecting your materials, think about the textures that you're seeing, the different colors that you're seeing, the different patterns that you see in nature. What we're gonna do is take these materials and we're gonna create a portrait. Now, it does not have to be a self-portrait, which is a picture of us. It could be a picture of somebody else, but you're gonna draw on a white piece of paper, whatever kind of white paper you have, whether it's blank or it's lined notebook paper or even recycled cardboard. That's a good idea. There we go, white paper is right there. You are gonna take a piece of paper, draw the face, just the face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the curve of the head, draw the neck and the shoulders, add any extra details you want, but don't do the hair. The hair we are going to create with the materials that we found outside. Now you're definitely gonna to wanna to probably have a pair of scissors on hand for this part. If you don't, you can still do it, it just might be a little messy. Make sure you have a spot set up in your house where it's okay if the table gets a little dirty, there might be some dirt or sand hopefully not any bugs, on your plant material. So take it and arrange it for the hair of your portrait. Oh, now sometimes if you don't glue it on, it can fall off, but that's okay, because I can just stick it right back on there and it still looks good. So I used double-sided sticky tape to get mine to stick, but whatever you have, tape, glue, that's fine. If you don't have those things, you can still do the activity, just don't pick it up because then everything will fall off. Leave it flat, take a photograph of it, and then you can upload it and share it on Artsonia. I cannot wait to see all the wonderful nature portraits that we are going to create this week, so let's get to work. 